Wait. Welcome <laughs> to another Let's Talk Tuesday. Hey, hey. hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope you guys are having a good Tuesday so far. Well, listen. Awesome. We are keeping this thing going for the month of June, where we have all men guests on our show for the month of June to celebrate Father's Day. We want to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Father's Day is this Sunday. And we thank appreciate you. you. We honor you. And we thank you for what you do as fathers. Now, my name is Cherry. And right below me is Crystal. And we are here on behalf of Deeper Life Gospel Center's social media team. And today, we have a special guest. Wait, before I, before I introduce him, before I introduce him, I just want to say shout out to Pastor Wade Bell Sr. Happy Father's Day to Pastor yeah. Bell. Happy Father's Day, Pastor. We love you. He's our spiritual father. And we, just Mighty thank, you for, we yeah. thank you for all that you do. Yes, indeed. Okay. So now we're going to introduce our special guest for this evening. He is none other than singer, writer, extraordinaire, performer, entertainer of the world. His name is Condito. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. I am so happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Yay. Thank <laughs> you so much for being a guest on our show. And listen, y'all, speaking of Father's Day, fathers and everything, one thing that makes this guest really special is this guest is actually crystal's father hey oh! hey <laughs> uh -huh. you see the resemblance don't they look alike <laughs> so <laughs> a little bit um so of course this past sunday minister keith mccoy preached a word okay and he yes, talked he about fathers yeah. of course and it was awesome and so candido we want to know what what about Minister Keith's message on this past Sunday? Like, tell us some some highlights of the message. Of the message. Man, there were so many. Um, talking about training up a child so that he won't, um, paraphrase, and wander off and, 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 and forget those things that he's been taught, training up a child. Um, talking about uh, loving your, your wife so that uh, the children can see you know, how to treat your wife and how to treat, treat a woman. The, the, uh, the daughters seeing how they should be treated and the sons seeing how they should be treating their, their, their wife. Um, the red cup thing was, was, was something that was, was real that deep was to me as well. <laughs> um, just, just a lot of bullet points there, just a, a real meaty sermon um, talking about uh, providing for your family and and being the head of the house and, and not leading your children to, to strife or, or, or to anger. Um, just, it just hit a lot of points for me, just a lot of things. Wow, that's awesome. So Crystal, what's some things about the message that kind of stuck out to you? Well, it's, um, ooh, that was a dynamic message. Um, it just reminded me of my relationship with my dad and how he taught me about a lot of different things about men and um, how to choose a man and how to, you know, present yourself as a young lady in front of different types of men. And he, you know, was telling me, you know, what to look for and, you know, all of that. So he touched on all of that and about the father being present in the child life so that was really really a really good point for me okay well since we got you know both of y'all here you know let's <laughs> we can, let's take advantage of of having a father and a child on the show at the same time so crystal what was some of the highlights of of ha have been some of the highlights of your life so far uh with your father which is Candido? Well, you know, you never really appreciate your parents to me until you get grown. So my dad has always been a talker and he always teach you things. You know, when you're in his face, he's going to tell you stories and you may not appreciate it then, but you appreciate it now, you know, 
uh, type of thing. But uh, that's how I feel now. Like when I met my husband, he he pointed out to me like, oh yeah, y'all gonna be together for a long time. <laughs> wow, and he nice. never ever did that. I'm just letting y'all know he was hard on guys, very hard. And he put me up yeah. on game. Ladies, you need to listen to your dad, okay? He, I'm telling you, he know all of the tricks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he will tell you in a minute, mm -mm, that sound like this, that sound like that, you know? So I really think people need to appreciate their parents younger because I, if I would have listened to them while I was a teenager, I wouldn't have went through like the heartaches that I went through when I was trying to sneak. <laughs> <laughs> not trying to sneak. <laughs> trying to sneak. I, look, I can say uh -huh. it now. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Candido, what's some of the highlights that, that you've experienced as a father just so far in life? I, um, well, me, me being raised by uh, having three uncles in my life, and they each had a, a different... Uh, I had a different relationship with each one, and they they all had uh, some type of uh, put some type of impression upon me. Uh, I had a uh, uncle that was a pastor, and I had an uncle that was kind of from the streets, and I had an uncle that was kind of sharp and kind of you know with the with the clothes and keeping his hair cropped, and you know, and and very and they were all very intelligent. So you take all these things, and and it helps to mold you into who you are. Um, uh, they had sense of humor. I, I always preface things that I say and, and, and put humor in it when, when I would talk, uh, when I would have conversations with them, even no matter how serious something was, even though it was serious, they, I would always find some type of humor because um, humor has, has a, a wisdom in it, uh, I've always found. You know, you, you, you'll say things like, like even when you're talking about the words, be like, yeah, you know, uh, this guy right here, the things that he's saying to you you know, it's not true or what sounds like they're trying to pull something on you. And then you, then you put some humor in, but you mean it at the same time. And if you hurt my baby, <laughs> we gonna have a problem. Okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so it, it's, uh, and then each one has a, a different personality, having, having five children and you have a different relationship and a different conversation with each one. Cause you can't, you just can't cover everybody with, with one thing. So well, I'm just going to be this way with this one person, that person, because each person have different goals and they have different things that in the way that they think. So just talking to them like people and not talking to them like, like, like children, you know, of course, breaking it down where it's understood, but at the same time, making sure that, you know, it's something that they can get and, and, and it's something that's going to take them later on in their life. You're just, you're planting seeds. Yeah. So even though they may not get it when you're saying it later on, when that, when that comes up again, it'd be like, oh yeah, I heard that yeah. somewhere. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> point. So, so Crystal, what's some seeds that your dad planted in you when you were younger that now they're, they're you know, it's showing up like that seed was planted and now it's, it's growing into, you know, what it was meant to be. Well, I'll never, re I will never forget, like me and my sister, um, we're like a year apart. And my sister was smaller than me. And um, I would always try to wear like the stuff that she would wear, but I couldn't because I was a little bigger, right? So I've um, always been like a thicker girl. And uh, when I was older, I started dressing a little bit more revealing or whatever. And uh, my dad, I'll never forget, he was like, when I met my husband, he was like, this is not that type of dude you're not going to be able to dress like that. You know what I'm saying? He is a preacher's kid and, you know, basically just straighten me out. Like, you're going to have to get that together. Like, the last dude might have dealt with that, but you, if you want this type of man, if you want your life to be a little different, you're going to have to dress a little different. And I think that me not wanting to uh, disappoint my parents, it's kept me on this route. Like, I never really put anything bad, too bad out there because I don't want to disappoint them. And I think that kept me, um, you know, it was God, of course, but it just kept me to be, you know, not out there. 
because I was always still, even though my dad laughed and joked and stuff, I was still scared of my daddy. I'm still scared of him to this day. My mama could be like, uh, I'm calling your daddy. I'd be like, please don't call my daddy. Don't call <laughs> Oh Lord! <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know right. what? It, it's right. good to have that that reverential fear, you know. Yeah. Of yeah. Your, yeah. With your parents, not just your father, but just with your parents, because yeah. it 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 straightened, like you say, it straightens you out in those moments. It straightened me out. Mm -hmm. And it that those seeds of fear, like that is healthy fear that your parents yeah. plant inside of you when you're younger. Listen, that stuff will mm -hmm. keep you out of trouble later. That stuff will yeah. keep you from getting hurt and getting into some yes. random situation. You ain't got no business yes. later on in life. Yes. So I'm sure you would really appreciate your dad, you know, telling you. Because the thing about what he said to you about how you dress and everything, people, listen, people see you first. Before you right. have anything come out your mouth, all they're going to see is everything that you're showing them. Yeah, and and people almost always go in the wrong negative direction with that. When yeah, yeah. Females and, and what you wear and you know how you present yourself, you know. Yeah, but yeah. um, yeah, yeah. but and him um, having like me having um accountability from someone, it it does keep you, you know, in this certain space where you don't feel like okay. I don't want them to be disappointed in me. So I don't want them to, you know, do certain things or whatever. That's why I was scared to get pregnant or, you know, anything like that coming home. Trying to, I have to tell my daddy that. Oh, uh, uh, my mom. No, no, no. So I've always had that fear, you know, because my mom, she took me to church early mm -hmm. you know i was speaking in tugs early i was praising the lord early you know i had my wild times but i never went too far like i right. remember i wanted to get a tattoo <laughs> and my daddy was like uh-uh mm -mm. nope <laughs> i remember i wanted to get a piercing on my belly mm -mm. no nope. mm -hmm. still to this day i have no tattoo no belly <laughs> ring <laughs> i don't know you, you always you always think about the future, you you know, we're always thinking about our children and what's going to happen in their life later on, and 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 you know what would happen. You got this tattoo, and you're trying to get this, you know, this this certain job, and then they looking at that or you, or your belly button, and just people people look at you at it, you know, in a certain way when you have certain things going on with you, you know, yeah. certain things that you've done to your body, or this sort of thing. Um, always kind of look at, you know, the kind of of, of woman that I will. You know, and 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 what what's attractive to me, and, and you know, intelligence and beauty, and 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 uh, you know, knowing God and believing in God and loving God, and a sense of humor, and you know what I'm saying, having standards, and and you know, you got to have standards in this world. You got to because if you yeah. if you don't, you just be anything out here. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And I just I just see y'all as kings and queens. You know what I'm saying? So you just mm -hmm. can't be anything and do anything. Yeah, mm. definitely. So, what's Candido? What's the biggest difference between being a father with with children and then being a father with adult children? Like, what's the biggest mm. difference that you've noticed? <laughs> it's when you're when you're a father of children, you're giving advice and and you're talking and you're guiding and and you're you're study trying to. Uh, tell them to do something or instruct them to do something as children, you become friends, you have conversations and you have intelligent conversations, you have diatribes, you talk back and forth and 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 you and you learn from them because they're going to do some things that in their time period that you even had maybe hadn't, you know, had to go through. So you're learning things from them as well. So it's a back and forth thing at that at that point. So you, you just get, and then you get a chance to enjoy them and they get a chance to enjoy you because it's not a, if you don't do that, you're going to get a whooping, you know, or, right. or you, you got to be strict you're going to go on punishment. It's, it's a, you know, if I were you, or if this is what I think you should do, and then you get a response and you get that intelligent response and you hear back some of the things that you've said and it's like an echo in your ear and you're like, yeah, they're going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> 
what's, what's some of your like fondest memories of your children when when they were little? I like telling them stories. I used to make up stuff uh, yes, because I wanted them to have an imagination. I used to tell my children that I could fly, and uh, they, you know, their bedtime was 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 like like ten like ten o'clock, and I would, and then sometimes eleven if we were stretching. Yes, I was like, you know what? At twelve o'clock, I fly, and they were like, "Well, can we stay up and watch?" And it was just hilarious for me to watch them trying to stay up so they could see if I could fly, and and they would always fall asleep. Right, you know, right before twelve, and I was like, "Y'all missed it." <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, the time that I made a um, a haunted house in the basement, and they oh were so God. they were so scared. It was me in the basement, and they were just scared out of their mind. It was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> that what yeah. was the um. What was your hardest thing? Because he had girls and boys. Like, what was the, the the hardest part with the girls and boys? Well, of course, the hardest part with girls is the boys. <laughs> right. You know, uh, keeping the boys away. And, you you know, you, you wish that you could put your children in a bubble and protect them from everything. You know, even like your sons, you don't want them to join gangs or you don't want them to get hurt out here fighting. Because, you know, when you're a man, people are going to try you. But I also wanted my girls to be tough as well because yeah. um, people will try you, you know, in that sense as well. And I want your husband to be scared of you. So anyway, the, the thing is, is <laughs> what? I, I I don't what? Oh. What? That's a whole nother what? topic right there. <laughs> no, it is. Um, it is it's trying to, um, like I said help them maneuver through this world. And everybody has a different goal and a different personality. So each person, you, you got to tailor make something to say and to do in the conversations for that person. Somebody, someone may want to do music. Uh, Crystal is an entrepreneur. Uh, she has her own business. She, she's an actress um, and she's a mother. She has children. So you keep all those things in mind. You know, I have uh, my sons, uh, Two of my sons, they rap. Another son, he plays keyboards and sing. My daughter, she's always loved, uh, Erica's always loved math. I mean, I've never known a child to say, I want to be a mathematician. I want to be, you know, anything that has to do with math. And that's what she's doing. So to, and to watch all these things unfold as they get older, it's just an awesome thing to see, you know. But getting them there, it, it, it's, it's difficult. It could be difficult, you know, because you, <laughs> You can't let them know that there's a chip in the armor that you feel in some kind of way about certain things. Like like maybe a boy that they they dealing with and you don't like him. And you have to, you know, kind of maneuver her through that situation. Because <laughs> if you if you tell them, well, that ain't gonna work and you ain't, then they'll go do it anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. The same thing with, with the girls with my sons. You know, I've, I've, I've seen it with women and be like, oh, girls and like, to myself, that ain't it. Right, <laughs> but you have to let them live their life and, and experience that, and just be yeah. there when they fall or when things happen. You know. Yeah, I heard yeah. that. I heard he was that. a little harder on the girls, though. Just to let y'all know, he was definitely <laughs> harder on me and my sister. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you are listen. As women in this world, it is it's it's harder for us. You know, because yeah. We're, yeah. we're looked at as less than sometimes, or, and we're looked at, you know, really as just as less than sometimes. Not yeah. all people, not that doesn't always happen, but generally speaking, all over the yeah. world, you know, yeah. women are looked at as the lesser sex, you know. Yeah. And um, we've, I'm Which pretty sure we've proven, huh? Which is farthest from the truth. Okay, <laughs> right. I, I think we have far exceeded, you know, that that, and we've proven that we we are amazing. And uh -huh. I mean, Absolutely. we can do so so many things, and 
and it's not about whether you're a woman or a man it's about what god placed in you and it's about you nourishing and growing that thing that he placed in you and it, and and being a blessing through whatever that is to the world and to others it has nothing to yeah. do with being a male or a female you know that's right. and that's what people don't understand you know people are so caught up in tradition and you know and it's even parts in the bible where it says you know don't let women do this and women shouldn't do that and women shouldn't do this and women should but at the same time if you're a woman and you're watching this and and you know that you know you heard god tell you to do something and mm -hmm. it's something that typically a man does yeah you know, I'll use mm -hmm. preaching, for example. I mean, that's obviously, you know, not yeah, that, really that big of a deal. It, it is, but, you know, there's a lot of women preachers. But yeah. mm -hmm. if you know that God is calling you to be a preacher, you have to be obedient to your father, which is, is God. God is the ultimate father. Okay. Right. Look, happy Father's Day to you, God. Okay? Because <laughs> right. God... God is our father has really been showing out, taking care of us through this pandemic, keeping Woo! us, keeping our families. So yeah, like the the he is literally the GOAT, the G O A T, yeah. the greatest of all times, the greatest of fathers. Mm -hmm. And he's such a good example of of what a father should be, you know, yeah. and how a father should take care of their children. You know? And I'm so glad that as Christians, you get the opportunity to know God as your father, because yeah. some people didn't grow up with their father. Like I didn't grow up with my father. So yeah. my mama was my daddy. She was mm -hmm. both. Yeah. So I, um, I literally just recently really started trying to like kick it with my dad, you know, like, and talk more and all that kind of stuff. And it's actually really cool. It's cool mm -hmm. to like know your earthly father, you know, yeah. but at the same time, I'm so thankful for my heavenly father who keeps me fulfilled and content and not wanting or needing for anything, regardless if I grew up with my dad or not. Right. So right. That's such a blessing. I, honestly, I think that actually allows me to be open to a relationship with my father because I'm, I don't, it's like, I don't need it. But, yeah. but it would be nice, you know, yeah. it, it would be cool to, to get to know the other person that played a part into, you know, making me, cre you know, creating me as a, and, you know, on a natural side. Right, mm -hmm. right. You know, but I also have had the pleasure of having a great father-in-law. Mm -hmm. I've also had the pleasure of having a great spiritual father, Pastor Bill, yeah. you know, I've had other father figures in my life. Like even my brother, my brother has been like a father figure to me, like as a man in my life. And yeah. he, we talk all the time yeah. about all kinds of stuff. So right. I'm just thankful for all the father figures, you know, yeah. and just like Candido, like you said, you had your uncles, you know, who were awesome father figures. They weren't your father, mm -hmm. but they were father figures which yeah. is, is very important, you know, that is important to acknowledge too, you know, for those of you who are watching, don't forget all the other men in your life yeah. who yeah. attributed to who you are and who you're mm -hmm. becoming because yeah. it's Amen. not just your father. And if you're watching and you didn't grow up with your father or, you know, you don't know him or he's no longer, you know, here, just know that, it's other men in your life that you may have not been looking at like that. Yeah. But they they drop those nuggets in, in, your, yeah. in your life, though, that knowledge, mm -hmm. that wisdom, they be dropping it on you. And I'm telling yeah. you, that's part of being a father type figure. Yeah. Absolutely. I had a wonderful uh, father in law. You know, um, he passed like two months before we got married. Mm -hmm. And he was so instrumental in our life. And, um, he was so instrumental of how I thought about Christianity as well, you know, so I had him in there for a couple of years as well. So it was just, it was wonderful to have him around. Um, so like you said, it is good to have other father figures around. And then pastor now, 
Like yeah. that's my other spiritual father. Like I'm learning yeah. so much at Deeper Life, and he really does teach the gospel to change your life. So through that, that my dad and you, you know, brought me to Deeper Life Ministries because it has changed my life. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's it's um everybody everybody has a, a a part in your life that they contribute you know, um, and they come along and they, they, cause God gives us provisions for those things that he knows that you need, you yeah. know, um, like you said, Pastor Bell coming along and he's really the, the combination of all my uncles and including my grandfather, cause my grandfather, he, he played keyboards and, and he, uh, he played guitar. So I started picking up every instrument that I could and doing that and writing songs and this sort of thing. And Pastor Bell plays guitar. He's a musician. Yeah. Right. Yes, he but does. His, right. His demeanor and the way he breaks things down to you and the way he explains things to you and 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 being um being able to get in, you know, to get in touch with him at any given point and, and him walking you through things, whether it be a death in your family, whether it be something that you're deciding about a job, him being there and being that, you know, being that force is an awesome thing. Um sometimes you get the opportunity later in life because your, your, your parents may have worked all their lives and, and now you get a chance to spend time with them being retired. I got a chance to yeah. spend time with my dad after he retired. So it was a different relationship because he's not that much older than I am, but he would say things and that I could comprehend because it was almost the same era, you know, things about music and things about just different things, but just being in the presence and just laughing and talking about stuff. Cause you know, having a, being a friend, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's an awesome relationship. And it is something else uh, when you get that opportunity. It's nothing like it. Yeah, I agree. Um, even though I didn't grow up with my dad mm -hmm. a couple years back, me, my mom and my brother took a trip to <laughs> visit my dad. He doesn't live in the same state as me. And it was like, everything it was like wow. <laughs> i mean you have no idea how how awesome it was like it i was like a child all over right. reliving Aww. just my mom and my dad being together was just it was beautiful like and i took so many pictures and like it kind of was like the start of our adult relationship with me and my dad and yeah. you know and i look forward to you know, our future and the future conversations we're going to have. And, you know, it's just an awesome thing. Like fathers are such a blessing to our lives. And if you yeah. didn't know, if you're watching this and you're like, you're like not a person who go to church or, you know, maybe you never read the Bible, but men are very important. And it's not for the reasons that I know that the world has been putting out there about yeah. they're not our dictators they don't rule over us they have a very big responsibility yeah. um to making sure we're protected making yeah. sure we are knowledgeable about things and we have wisdom about things it they men have a very important role to play in yeah, all of right. our lives and yeah. um we just want to say that we thank all the fathers um yeah. the ones who have been there the ones who may have wanted to be there but it couldn't be there we just thank you and we pray that you know any any father child relationship that might be broken we we're praying that they get reconnected and, and that you all come back together and and we speak a spirit of forgiveness over your families yeah. because you need each other yeah you need each other. You, your family, you're in this family that you're in because God, that's how he made it to be. So let's yeah, try to true. make the best of the families that we've been given, that we've been born into. And let's appreciate our family members and, and appreciate our fathers. And mm -hmm. um, Candido, we want to say we appreciate you for being on the show today. Yes, we do. It's a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, it's been very awesome. <laughs> yeah, it has been just 
be on awesome sitting sitting across and looking at my boy, I mean my um daughter uh Crystal <laughs> 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 and and the woman that she's become you know the, the the mother and the wife and the daughter that she is and and the friend of you know the friendship that that we have and, and the special relationship you know um and like I said I have this with all my children and just to watch them with their children and watching them with, with their uh my grandchildren and it's just an awesome thing to just watch what they're placing in them and they're growing up to be just so awesome so it it's it's a it's a link it and and i have to just say this you have to be a praying man mm. you have whether you're in church or not be a yeah. praying man be a praying father before you become a father be a praying man so god can send you you know the 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 wife that he has for you and so that wife can have the children that he has for you because the bible says that i knew thee before you were formed so he already knows so if you pray and you stay in touch with him and you stay in contact he can guide you in the direction you know where, where you should go but i wouldn't trade it for the world being a father is is just the most the, the greatest thing that could ever happen you know and then the next thing would be a husband and then being a, a brother and be, you know so forth and some of them that uh, uncle so it's just an awesome thing being a grandfather. Oh my goodness! Just to watch them little faces and and, and smiling and laughing and running is just Aww. yes, indeed. No, well, don't be getting all emotional over there. I know, right? <laughs> well, we just want to thank everybody for watching and listen. Coming up this week at Deeper Life Gospel Center, we got interactive Bible study. This Thursday with Pastor Bell, exclusively on our Facebook page. So if you don't already like and follow us on Facebook, listen, make sure you do that, okay? Mm -hmm. Like and follow us on Facebook, that's Deeper Life Gospel Center, and join us this Thursday at 7 o'clock for Interactive Bible Study with Pastor Bell. You, and, and it's literally what I mean, interacting. You get to interact with him yeah. through your comments. He's going to ask questions. And, and it's like we'll be in like a conversation with him as he's preaching. And, you know, he's asking questions and we're commenting. And we're just learning, learning a lot yeah. in this Bible study. So, again, that's this Thursday. And yes. if you are watching from the website and you don't have a Facebook page, no worries. Go to dlgc.org, click watch live. You can also watch our interactive Bible study right there. Also, if you missed last week's Let's Talk Tuesday, you can go to our YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe. And you can look in the playlist that says Let's Talk Tuesday. You can see last week's episode as well as some previous episodes. It's a lot of good episodes of Let's Talk Tuesday. I mean, you guys really should go, go and binge watch that. If you want to binge watch something, binge watch that. Okay. Right now. Right now. Yes. Yeah, right now. Good yeah. conversations up in there. Okay. Yes, and listen, yes, if you don't have a church home, I just want to take this opportunity and invite you on over, on over to Deeper Life Gospel Center. Come on over. We Come love on. we love meeting new people. We love welcoming new people. So please, if you would love to like, if you're looking for a church home where you can have a church family who will love you like real family. Yes. Deeper Life Gospel family. Center is the place Indeed. for that. So yeah. make sure you join us next week for another Let's Talk Tuesday at 7 o'clock. It will be our grand finale for the month of June, celebrating the men for the month of yeah. June. And y'all do hey, not hey. want to miss next Thursday. We yeah, have I the ultimate... We got the ultimate <laughs> special guest coming next next Tuesday for Let's Talk Tuesday. Okay? Yes. So y'all make sure y'all <laughs> come on back. Minister, thank you, Minister Keith McCoy, for that wonderful message. Yes, yes. indeed. Thank you for <laughs> that meeting. Also, that awesome, man. If you would like to watch the message from Sunday, go like and follow us on our Facebook page. That's Deeper Life Gospel Center. And, and look on our page. Check out... Um, Minister Keith McCoy's message about fathers. He preached on Father's yeah. Day and it was awesome. And go back and watch that so you can kind of see what we're talking about. You know, yeah. why are we talking about this? What, you know, 
and our kind of focus was fathers, but I still want you to go and receive that word as well. Yeah. yeah. Right, well, <laughs> that's a wrap for this Tuesday, and we just want to say thank you for joining us for another Let's Talk Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye.